Hello, here's a, a note on uh, getting started with viewing, uh, viewing grip files using the um, wonderful program XY Grib. Um, and there's an there's a article, we have an article that describes some of the details of each of these steps, and that article is linked in the description to this video. So you go to this uh, uh, opengribs.org uh, downloads, and, um, and there's a Windows or a PC version. You want to use the uh, online version, so you download this file. For a Mac, you would download this one. For the Mac, you will have to then go into your system preferences and give it permission to install. Uh, and so we'll install this one. And then when you rent, when you do the install, the main thing, uh, well, a main thing to keep in mind is at one point there'll be a checkbox to add high resolution maps, base maps. And you want to check that. You want to include the high resolution base maps. We need that for the uh, regional forecasts. Uh, and then you install it. Okay, then I guess we're done there. And then uh, once you install it, um, once you install it, you'll see it up here. It may run automatically after you install it, but here it is. Then when you run it for the first time, I would go down here to this bottom one and right click this and say pin to taskbar and you've got it. And so here it opened up. And this is not what you would see when you first open it. This shows you that what it, when it opens up, it will open up to where it was when you left it. It will actually come back showing like the whole earth or something like that. And so uh, this is the main file. Um, let's just see a couple things we might want to do under options units. You could go into units and change uh, the speeds to knots. That would help us here. And on the coordinates, uh, we were better off with this one, degrees, dot minutes, dot minutes. And uh, so you use that. So that's all set up and ready to go. And then the feet, yeah, that's okay. And then, um, Let's see. Um, okay, so let's just then get a file. And uh, so let me make this a little bit bigger if I want to uh, here. And uh, so you start out the way you get a file is, oh, let me check. I want to double check. If you go to Earth and then you go to Map Quality, yeah. So you'll see if you did, if you got the high resolution maps in, you'll be able to go clear down to this one, the 100 meters, is that the 100 meters, I guess, something like that. And we'll see that a little bit later. Okay, so now just for a quick check, so I'm in this I crosshair here, and I'm just gonna draw a region that I wanna look at right there. Something like that, or maybe even for the first time. Now, here, here's another note. When you're studying at home and, and working with this, you can take files of any size you want, but you have to keep in mind when you're underway, you're going to have to be very sensitive about file size. And so, but this is a region we want to look at. And then the next thing you do is you click the globe, maybe click up here. Oh, I lost my uh, region. I'm going to click here, and then I want to click the globe, right? I'm having, let me see why I'm not getting that here okay you, you, you have the once you once you've made that and you come up here you have to have this go into an arrow if it's not click around a little bit to get that right okay then download the grip now this brings up the control panel where you choose this is filled in the latitude longitude region here that we did this is the resolution now for the GFS model it might start out showing none but the, the workhorse for international uh, international global a forecast is a US GFS model um, and then uh, so that's a 0.25 is the best resolution it does again when you're underway doing planning you may look at 0.5 or even 1 you know depends on what you're doing for a quick overview but for now let's well yeah, for now, I'll just keep it 0.5. And the intervals every three hours, again, you may choose every six. And the period, this will go out 16 days. Ah, okay, well, that's interesting. It doesn't matter. This forecast actually goes out 16 days. But the reality is, uh, you know, uh, you're, it's not beyond four or five. It's not very real, not very dependable. So there's no, this is no serious limit here that that only goes to 10. It can come into some issues when you're routing, but this, when you're doing automatic computerized routing, but this program does not do routing, so you're never going to need anything 
be, 10 is plenty, absolutely. And then last is probably almost always what you would choose here, last. Okay, and so what data, and uh, we're, for now, let's not take any wave data. And then uh, wind is, uh, we'll take the 10 meter wind, we'll take the pressure, and then we'll take the reflectivity. These are not necessarily defaults. I've These are the standard ones I've used, and I did a run beforehand here. So that is like that. And so now we're already up to three megabytes. Totally impossible when you're underway on a satellite phone. Okay, but, and then you could also get altitude data. And what we would often look at here is a 500 millibar map. So you could put in the 500 millibars, but you have to keep in mind with this program, when you decide to add uh, uh, add a, no, a different level level other than 10 meters the surface or 10 meters it's going to bring in a lot of data so that's going to chunk up the size of the file quite a bit maybe for now we we'll just leave that off and then uh, go here and run it okay so now we download that and uh, see then it downloads and then this will have a default location where it stores these files and you want to always it's a lot tidier to keep things always in the same place and this is the default location it'll be the users then the username and then it'll be the uh, XY grib and then grib and these are three that I've just now downloaded just preparing to look at the video here and then you, you save it so you save it first so it's saved in that place so there is now the wind and the pressure and this panel over here that is let's see file uh, oh, I can barely see this um, but this goes on and off I think with control V yeah control V turns that panel on and off and so now we can read the wind and you see the wind and the pressure uh, up here at these various various points here and then I can zoom. I'm rolling the mouse to zoom in like that. You're looking at that that way. Uh, and then this is, these are the forecasts that we ask for, starting each of these individually. And then you could also, this red is the present time. And then this you can move. And notice, you see this writing right here in the middle. It's a little bit better view of what time what what the valid time is of the map is right there when you see that so you can look at that and uh, zoom in on that and um, you read the values now let me just uh, okay so that's like global that's that's like viewing a global weather map here and I'll have to come back with some other videos and look at some details but just to get started that's the way that's the way that works out that way and then if you want to look at some uh, you know some higher resolution things and now here's a heads up right now the program uh, doesn't doesn't have the age the it has a NAM. If you go here, uh, okay, let's just go down here. I'm going to highlight this section here around Tampa and then click this button right here. Or is that going to work? Let me just see. Click that and then right here. Yeah, see that in principle, if I highlight this area and then click this plus right here, it zooms in here. Or you can just roll in, to, you know, roll in like that and then grab the hand up here grab the hand and move things around. Now, if I want to look in this this area here, um, I could go up and get a different model. I wouldn't use a GFS. I'd use, uh, let's see, oh, oh, just click this. Oh, I better put a box. You, gotta, you, you want to put a box first. There's the region we're looking at. And then here's this. And now I'd go to the NAM CONUS. Nam Conus. We have other articles. We have articles with a background that talks about what the different models are, what the different parameters are, and so forth. This is just a quick introduction to using this particular very versatile, fine program. The best, cer certainly the best of any uh, on the mo any available for learning to uh, learning grip files and getting involved with this type of science. Okay, so with this one now, I've got the Nam. You see, it's got this is a point one one degrees. The other one is 0.25, so it's better. But I understand from the developer that on the horizon, very shortly, he will have the uh, high-resolution rapid refresh model up here, which has a little bit better resolution and is uh, better for uh, local forecasting. But the NAM is also very good. Uh, this is the U.S. data for the NAM. Uh, and then you say, uh, what did we get here? Reflectivity. Okay, down, download. Okay, so we've got that. That's saved, and now that's here. Now, here's another thing. This, 
this and this takes some practice and we'll have some notes on that but if this is these things here from this from this bar up to here are turning on color overlays so if i turn on the wind then we have a color code here of the wind and you see if i if i uh, step through here you'll see let's see is anything changing much oh it's not changing much is that right oh it's changing a little bit but not much. But you see that color overlay covers the whole map. So you may want to shut that off when you're looking at inland stuff so you see the nice border of the land. Now, where you would want to turn that on is when you're looking at the reflectivity. And again, we have to check our textbook and other things But the reflect about what these things mean. But the reflectivity, let's see if there's any squalls or anything in this area. Oh, okay. So there's nothing going on there. Well, oh, there is. How did I miss that? Oh, I just must have missed it here on the clicking this. But uh, you can step through the this way. There's also, you can make an animation. One of these buttons up here, uh, one of these buttons up here, like this one maybe, will make an animation of the, uh, of the data. Beautiful presentation of an animation. And then you can slow it down, I think, and then uh, run it. And it'll um, it'll show. There, I picked an area, unfortunately, without anything going on. Okay, so that's the animation up here. And then um, maybe I'll leave it there. Another thing to to look at is he's got a very nice presentation of it called a Medio table. And the, oh, and that'll just take a spot, any spot you choose here, and then hit this, and it'll give you the data. That it'll give you the data at that particular point as a function of time. Okay, so there's our basic tools to play with. We'll have to come back and we'll take specific functions that we want to go after and uh, focus on them. But that's, that's just an introduction so you can get started on this.